East Bell, I'm Jeannie. We're two do-it-yourselfers who met on a sailboat in 1988. Three houses and four boats later, we're refitting our 1998 Seahorse Oceaneer 55-foot steel trawler, Blue Sky. Welcome to our journey. So, Bill's getting a refit, or he already got his refit. Doctor said he did really well, he's doing good. So, good news. Love you, honey. Said later. <laughs> later. Hello. Well, I'm in for my refit. I got lots of uh, bilge tubes and stuff in me right now. Sucking stuff out of me. Yeah, I had a coronary artery bypass graft. Sucks. It definitely hurts, but hopefully that will stop my other pain I was having. Yeah, originally they were just going to be stents, but uh, doing the stent surgery wasn't going to be successful. So they uh, scheduled me for triple bypass. And they say the surgery is the easy part. The recovery. Yeah, recovery is the hard part. Yeah. And this is, I guess, day one after surgery. Just about 24 hours since meeting the OR. I'm going to have walked once. And he definitely looks much better today <laughs> than yeah. he was yesterday. Yeah, I remember very little of yesterday other than pain. Oh, you want to explain the pillow? This is Giselle. And the only issue I have with Giselle is her nose or her horn pokes me in the nose. So they have to use her on her side. But this is your, they, when they do open heart surgery, they cut your sternum here and of course pull it apart. And so then when you cough or burp or do anything, you've got to hold Giselle up against you and keep your, so that you don't pop it back apart. Cause that's a very bad thing. You go back in and have more surgery if they pop it back apart. So, so you do this and I can't lift anything like more than five pounds and stuff like that for the next six weeks, because your sternum has to be fully repaired before you start using your arms in a normal fashion again. So loads of fun. Oh, and they also got me on this wonderful breath sucker thing where every hour I got to go try to make it come up. Now, before I had my surgery, I could easily get it all the way up to 4,000 without any pain or without any issue. I can barely get it over 1,000. I have gotten it to 2,000 a couple of times. And that's to help fluids that have gathered in my lungs to get those fluids out of my lungs. Later. Yeah. One of the things that we're waiting for on the boat or the boat on the docks was the new power panel. Well, they finally installed the power panel these past three days. And so since we were out of power, we've turned off our ACs and stuff like that. So we were limited on the amount of power. We only had like 500 watts an hour being consumed, which with our 20 kilowatts of battery and solar, we made it the three days without too much problem. We got down to, I think it was 31% when they finally turned everything back on. But anyway, we're back up here to turn on the air conditioners and stuff. And so the first one is the salon. The refrigerator beverage, counter outlet, trash mat, microwave. Okay, go up there and turn the air conditioner on. Okay. Now what? Media room. Did the air conditioner come on? Yeah. Oh, flip the port bedroom air conditioner breaker. Yeah, there it goes. Master's next. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, that was a tough work day on the boat. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, I think that's it then. Later. I've been staining the pieces of the bed frame for the front bedroom on the boat here in our garage. And I'm about to do the last three pieces. I forgot to do all the filming of the sanding and most of the staining. Later. was finished staining all the bed frame pieces but 
I found these. I have all these cabinet doors or drawer doors to do. So here we go again. Later. that's the last of it of course now we have to coat it with some protective coating that hopefully is not going to turn it yellow all right so our garage is a mess I give all this credit to Bill you know how there's people that cook and clean at the same time and the kitchen's always clean and then there's people like me who cook and then the kitchen's messy and then we clean well I guess this is Bill's version of that in the garage so at least it looks like maybe we did a little work later still got my cushion yeah. slowly making recovery here so i finished staining and polyurethaning what do you call that polyurethane finish the finishing the, yeah, the outside finish the pieces for the forward bedroom bed frame we're gonna put it in the boat, at least get the pieces on the boat. We might put it together today. Yeah, either today or tomorrow. All right.